In this video, we're looking at the Easy Blog Junior app, which is described by us as being the unrivaled choice for young bloggers. Well, enough of our marketing superlatives. Let's take it for a spin and then you can decide for yourself. So what we're looking at here is the opening screen of the app. And I've already set this app up with these young bloggers. And I think the easiest way to show you is I'm just going to make a few posts now and I'm going to hand control over to Yuffie. Now Yuffie is the audio help that comes with the app. So Yuffie, take it away. Hi, I'm Yuffie. Tap your picture to get started. If you can't see your picture, tap the arrows. Are you sure this is you? What would you like to create today? Tap the green button if you've already taken your photo. If you'd like to take it now, tap the red. Are you happy with this photo? Tap yes to keep it. Tap no to try again. Would you like to talk about your photo? Tap the button to start recording. Tap it again to stop. It's best to put your iPad on the table while you are recording and try not to touch it. This is a building I made with some blocks. Let's watch it to make sure it's right. Tap the play button to start and stop. If you're happy with it, tap yes. To try again, tap no. This is a building I made with some blocks. Great work! I'm sending that to your blog. Don't close the app until I'm finished. Once the app returns to the home screen, that means the post has finished uploading. Let's have a look at some of the other features, and in the interest of time, I'll turn Yuffie off. The video post works very much the same as the photo-based post, and uses the same purpose-built camera. The making of this video walkthrough, it was a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. Some of our teachers also use it to quickly take a video of a student doing something they want to document and get it straight to their blog. The app also has a simplified text-based post option, which we can see in action here. The students can also add a single photo and video to that post. You can also use the speech-to-text function, although as most of us know, that can be a bit of a hit-and-miss affair and is certainly somewhat of an acquired skill. So those are all the basic functions of the app. Let's have a quick look now at the blog to see how those posts would all appear. So here's the first one I made, and you can see how the apps automatically put the post title in based on the student's name. This is a building I made with some blocks. Above that, we have the one where I used the speech to text function. So the text goes on the left and the photo there to the right. And here is the final one I made with the video. The making of this video walkthrough it was a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. So there you have it, Easy Blogger Junior, the ultimate app for young bloggers. Hi, what do you think? I'm Yuffie. What would you like to create today?